So I've been going through and teaching you how to create different types of navigation in PowerPoint. If you've missed any of those previous videos, you're welcome to go back and find them on my YouTube channel. At this point though, I want to share with you a reminder that's very important. If I create navigation in my PowerPoint like I've got picture navigation on this slide or uh, text hyperlinks here on this slide or button navigation like I've got going on this slide and some of the others. If I'm going to use these, I really want to turn off the regular linear navigation and I want to show you why. So if I go into slideshow and I start from the beginning, my intention is that my user would come down here and click on Mr. Frog and that would take him to slide one or click on the button and that would take him back. But uh, if I don't do anything about it, my user can still come and just click in the white space and it will take them through the slideshow linearly. And I really may not want that. <laughs> Depends on how I've designed my presentation. So it is my personal uh, encouragement that you turn that capability off so that nobody accidentally clicks on the slide and then is lost in your presentation. I kind of want to force them to use the navigation I've set up. All right, so how do we go about doing that? Well, looking at my ribbons up here, how do I establish uh, how we get from slide to slide? That is found under the transitions menu. Okay, so you may have played with the transitions menu before having it do a wipe across or a fade between or something to that effect. We're going to skip over all of those, although you're welcome to put those in. Come all the way down to the end and you'll see this option here, advanced slide and the default is on mouse click. We're going to turn that option off and then say apply to all. That'll make it so that the user cannot navigate between your slides without using your uh, navigation you've designed. So if I go back into slideshow and I say from beginning again, so here I am back in my presentation. If I click in my white space now, click, 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 see nothing happens. I have to click on the navigation that I have provided for them. Now this means you need to be extra careful my friends because if you create a slide that has no navigation on it, your user will have no way of getting around. So you need to have some way for the user to get uh, from one slide to another on every single slide, whether that be a picture, a text link, or buttons, there needs to be something. Another option, if you, for example, designed kind of a splash page title, so maybe if I come in here and I do a new slide and I'm gonna move it up to the very beginning here and I put a cool picture on it or something, and I wanted that to just be kind of my main, wow, that's so cool page, I could come into transitions and put a timing on this. So after three seconds, I want you to transition, okay? And that would just have this screen up for three seconds and then move right into my other slide that I've got here. Or another option would be to have a little text box and say, click on the frog to begin. So I need, again, I need some way to get from slide to slide, but I can use timings in this case if I wanted to, because I don't care if the user has control over this slide. All right, so if I go in, slideshow from beginning, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,003, there we go, click, and so we go. All right, so that concludes our series of tutorials on using kind of non-traditional navigation within a PowerPoint presentation.